Hello and welcome to another video. Today is Friday, January 10th. I have to feed some horses, so let's see what we see. Annabelle, why are you in the poop pile? What are you doing? Silly girl. In the winter, this is how we handle our manure. Somebody mentioned something about a wheelbarrow in one of my videos, I don't remember why, but anyway, made me think, you know, in the winter around here, we cannot use wheelbarrows. Wheelbarrows are not an option because we have too much snow, we can't push it through there. So we do everything with sleds and it works out really great, much easier. And it's nice too, because then the kids can, the kids can dump it when it's not too full. You goofy. She's right where I gotta go to. Can you get out of there, please? There's Stella. Okay, here I come. Look out. It's so gross. Like, this is not good hay. This is poopy hay. I pulled it out of a stall because it got peed on. These jet sleds are amazing. These are the best. I think I got it from Meyer. The nice thing about them is they are deep enough. Oh man, that's a bummer, it's frozen. <laughs> you know, if somebody saw me <laughs> struggling here, they'd be like, what is that girl doing? Um, but anyway, these jet sleds are really awesome because they fit a hay bale perfect. Our hay bales are about 65, 70 pounds, and they're really firm, um, firmly packed, and they fit just right in these sleds, so it's really nice when we need to drag a bale here or there. Okay, this is gonna require both my hands and feet. Here we go on the next one. Why, Annabelle? Why? <laughs> oh, goofy girl. Silly mare. Get out of there. Cinnamon. Hi, Miss Kitty. Hi, Mr. Manzer. He's getting to be such a big boy. Here he is in comparison to Ona. Ona is four. Well, her birthday's in June, I think. But did you know that horses are considered their new age as of January 1st? So I have a hard time saying that Manzer's a yearling because I don't feel like he's a yearling yet. But Ona is considered to be four. There's girl. Cinnamon. Good girl. So I'm gonna start graining horses. Lucky is always right at the gate thinking that it's his turn when it's not. So guess what? He gets to be last. And see how sassy he gets about it too. He's like, let me in. He gets kind of demanding. So he doesn't get to come in till the end because he needs to learn to be patient. Yes, you do. There's his lack of eye. Everybody always loves to see that. Kids love to touch it. He had a, an accident of some sort in the pasture, I guess, when he was young and he's from Canada. So I would kind of like to contact his original owner and see you know, what kind of information I can get about that because I think it'd be cool just to know. I like to know everything I can about my horses. 
So, but yeah, he's got a ball, a glass ball underneath the skin. So it's pretty neat because, you know, I've seen other horses have their eyes removed and it's just kind of a big hole there. And with Lucky, it's cool that he should be on this side. But he likes to see me, so he always points his eye to me. But yeah, so it's cool because you can hardly even tell since there's a ball under there. But Lucky is not so lucky, I guess. When the sun is shining, this is what horses do. They just stand. <laughs> we could do mannequin challenge. See who can stay the most still. It's pretty funny. As soon as the sun comes out, it's like they just go, ah, the sun feels so good. This does not apply to Stella though. Stella runs. If she's awake, she's running. I've had Sally here for quite some time and I've taken a lot of video footage of her, just kind of how she was. And um, I'll be sure to share that with you guys. I'll put it in her playlist when I do. So same with Manzer. I'm gonna be showing one of Manzer's videos over the weekend. And um, it's back from August, but it'll go right into his series on his playlist. And I'll just can't kind of keep doing that. So um, I really like the playlist because it kind of reminds me of like, a series on Netflix. You can just go through and you can kind of watch the story sort of unfold. So I'll make sure to post that in the correct order on their playlist. So if you ever just want to watch about a particular critter, you can see that. Okay, it's Sally's turn to come in for her grain. Hey girl. My little polka dotted butt, you need to move. Oh, this mini is such a, look at her, she's such a stinker. So everywhere I go, Sally comes with me. So does Bear. <laughs> but Sally's always right there. Gosh, it is the most beautiful day out. It's so sunny. Hey, Sal. So here we go again. <laughs> She'll go wherever I go. A little walk over here. I wish I had videoed all of the struggles of trying to catch this mule. I couldn't get near her. I couldn't pet this mule. <laughs> and now she's like my sidekick. Everywhere I go, Sally comes with. She used to be afraid of my gloves. She'd snort. She was afraid of the phone. Now I can put it by her. She kind of looks at it funny. Those nostrils. She'll flare her nostrils. But she's not afraid of it anymore. That's pretty bad. <laughs> okay. There we go. Usually she waits for me to go in. Like she doesn't just rush in, so she's right next to me. She's never in a hurry to go into her stall. She just waits. I'll leave it. There she goes. That's the stall she goes in. She used to have a really hard time with going into a stall. She, she didn't like it at all. I think I have some old video footage of that. So I'll make sure to find that and I'll put it in her playlist. So yeah, she doesn't get mine. She gets two cups. She gets just enough to make sure she gets the supplements she needs. Here's Annabelle losing her mind. When she settles down, I will let her out. She just finished her grain and she's thinking that she needs to go out right now. And that's kind of Annabelle's thing is she gets really, um, she does the same thing when she's tied. She'll get really worked up and then has a hard time settling down, but finally does. So same thing with the stall. She'll, there, that, that's a much better look, there. There, as soon as she settles down, she gets to go back out. And then she never is in a hurry to get out once the door's open. <laughs> she just takes her sweet time. Okay, Ona looks like she's done. Come on, girl. Another lollygagger here. Ona is a lollygagger, big time. She just, just waits. She's gotta look at everything and sniff stuff and
So for those people who are like, it's so mean to put a horse in a stall. What I want you to understand is my horses come in for about 15 minutes and eat their grain. And then when you go to turn them out, they're not in a big hurry to go. So, but gosh, there's so many, there's so many people that love to comment on things that they don't know crap about. It's my, my little rant for the day. If you don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> shush. Daisy is something else. So she'll stand outside and she'll do this at the gate because she wants to come in and get her grain. And then she comes in and gets her grain and then she sits here and paws. Sometimes she flips the feed pan over. Oh, here comes Clover. Stella, do not eat the kitty. There is nothing better than being able to give a horse a hug and bury your nose in its neck. Oh, especially when the sun is shining. There's really nothing better than that. There's not. If you haven't ever done it, you're missing out. They smell so good, especially when they're warm. Last year or the year before, I had a client who, or a couple clients who worked at a nursing home and one of the residents there was on her bucket list to put her nose in a horse's neck one more time. And I was so thrilled when they called me and asked if I would be willing to do, um, to grant her her wish. It was just awesome. It was absolutely, absolutely awesome. And she was able to come over twice and I used Rosie, Bear, and then I owned Tuffy at the time. And she was in a wheelchair and those horses, it's like they just knew. They knew that, that she needed them and they were so awesome. They were just so cool. And it was just the best feeling in the world. So she, she went home with a smile on her face and um, after the last time she was out, she passed away shortly after that. So I was really, um, I was really sad about that, but I was so glad that, that I could help in some way. So, cause I know, I know what horses do for the soul. I know, I do. And it's awesome. Such an awesome feeling. Are you done, Sally? Are you ready to come out? <laughs> Let's come on out. Or just stand there. Oh, there's Manzer. Manzer says hi. Get out. Everybody out. Oh, well, of course you're gonna go in there. Stinker. Come on, Nika, show your boy where he's supposed to go. Aw. Look at he's posing. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Can't wait till you get outside. Nika's such a good mom. You know, a few people have commented saying that she's such a cold mother or she's not a good mother or I should never breed her again because she's such a bad mom. And gosh, I just don't see that. I see a mom that does what she's supposed to do. She's very loving and she's a very good teacher. She's very tolerant. She's very patient. She's just not overly um, obsessive over him, which I think is amazing. And I think that's exactly the kind of mom you want. And I love the fact that he's still with her because she's such a good mare and she's teaching him so many good things. She's a great horse. She's an awesome citizen. Come on, Eek. Come on out. Out. Here. Show your boy. Show your boy the way. 